The painting I chose was uh, Diana and Callisto, um, and I did spend quite a while pondering which one to choose. And there was something about Callisto's belly in the painting, which is very strange. Lucian Freud talks about it. He says something very dramatic, like everything changed for him in painting the moment he saw it. Um, and I know what he means. And then the fact that she became a constellation and that she, she was permanently up in the sky um, was, I, that, that caught my imagination too. The way I went about it was to um, look at the paintings, or the reproductions of, painting, of the paintings which I had, and kind of live with them for a while. Um, gradually, gradually became drawn to Diana and Callisto. And then a series of problems presented themselves to me. Um, who should speak, for starters? Who should speak? I could choose any voice in that painting. I could be another nymph. I could be the dog. Actually, I was quite tempted by the dog that's looking at the audience. But I felt I wanted to speak as her. And then, so the second problem presented itself, when in her history to choose. I didn't choose to make her speak at the moment of the painting. It's almost as if that's too powerful, or that Titian has done that work already. Perhaps there's nothing left in that moment to say. So I became intrigued by the idea that she is a constellation, and that's how she's saved. Stars, 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 and I am made of them now, looking down on myself then, a colorito woman. I wrote out what I thought she might say in lots of different ways, little fragments, and then gradually, I began, to, I began to hear in my head the kind of noise that I thought a star might make. And it was a kind of crunchy, white noisy, um, almost elements of radio in there kind of noise. And I imagined her words coming out like that and punctuated like that. And it's represented in the poem by every word being divided by an asterisk, which in, in a way is, is, I guess, my way of translating what I heard in my head.